higher level of talent. In the oh, that's oh, my, just that's like it. that. How good was that? Well, he will work his way up to the higher level of talent. And that's what that young man has. Simpsonville, South Carolina is on the UFC map, courtesy of that man, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And you know, when he says, Anybody who steps into the octagon has never faced someone like me. I, I, perhaps Johnny Hendricks would disagree, but this is a very unique challenge for Johnny Hendricks tonight. He is. In many ways, it's like fighting two different guys at the same time. Depending on what stance Steven Thompson is in, he has two totally different striking styles. Now that lead leg sidekick for Stan. Ooh, beautiful technique there from Steven Thompson. Defends the first takedown, then lands those two strikes. That's huge for the confidence of Wonderboy. And again, Wonderboy going upstairs and finding the toe. Oh, nice combination by Thompson. Anyway, he eats a lot of punches because he looks for counters. He may be hurt here. This would be massive if Steven Thompson could finish him in the first round. When you watch his two fights with Robbie Lawler, he eats a lot of shots. He's hurt. This is it. Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Wonderboy is limping, or just doing something, but in the biggest spot of his career. Steven Thompson started training in karate at age three. His father was a professional fighter, and the family has owned a karate school for decades. All the kids, that would be all the five children, the three boys and two girls in the Thompson family, have trained in karate since they were very young. And Thompson has an incredible combined kickboxing record between his professional and amateur kickboxing matches of 57 and 0 with 40 knockouts. I mean, that really is a spectacular record. Really, I've never even heard of anybody entering the UFC with such an amazing record. Uh, it, it is a very different style of fighting, but absolutely it's applicable. And one of the things that this guy brings to the table, Mike, which is very unusual, is a very powerful front leg attack. As unorthodox as it is, if he works his way up to the higher level of talent. In the oh, that's oh, my, just that's like it. that. How good was that? Well, he will work his way up to the higher level of talent. And that's what that young man has. It's very unusual. His incredible leg dexterity and kicking technique right over the shoulder, Mike, so he didn't see it coming. Dan Stitchin had no idea that kick was on the way because the way that, sh that Stephen Thompson placed it, it was blind to him until it came over the shoulder and then landed on the face. Really a beautiful, beautiful attack. He is fun to watch, the Wonder Boy, Stephen Thompson. He is just, I mean, when you talk about dominant as a, kick, as a kickboxer and a world champion kickboxer, five-time world champion, combined 57-0 kickboxing record, which included 40 knockouts, eight and one as a mixed martial artist, of course, trained by his father. They call his father the toughest man in South Carolina. Incredible that he was able to get that kind of a record at only 31 years of age, right. along with an eight and one MMA record, learning the skills of MMA, getting better at his takedown defense, getting better at his jiu-jitsu, but his bread and butter is his kickbox. You see one, two, three, four. That's, that's when you know a fighter is really putting together some some nice work, and that's what Thompson's been doing. Here's that front leg side kick to the body, too. Oh, oh he tapped him. Big body. He's hurt. Whitaker's in big trouble. Yes. And again, he connects. He's oh, a good guy. Looking to finish the front. Can he do it here? Mario Yarosaki is over. That's it. it is all over. Big, big win for Steven Thompson. Thompson. Finishes Robert Whitaker. Wow! And that is the Stephen Thompson that we saw in his kickboxing career. It's amazing that this kid decided to get into MMA and work through all the difficulties involved in transitioning from being a kickboxer to being a mixed martial arts fighter. But we're seeing it all come into focus now.